Okay, I'm going to be identifying the sites for an intramuscular injection. So I would start by exposing the full shoulder for the deltoid site. And I would find the chromion process. And I would go two finger widths down. I'd bring my hand down and form a triangle and I would get it right in the middle. And for the deltoid site, the max dose is one milliliter and you would use a one milliliter syringe. It's a 22 to 25 gauge. You go in at a 90 degree angle. And for almost all intramuscular injections, you use a one to one and a half inch needle. Okay. So the next side is gonna be the vastus lateralis. And so you would divide the thigh into thirds like this. And so that would go right here in this area. And also the rectus femoris, uh, that would be in the middle third of that divide. And so for the vastus lateralis, the max that it can take is five milliliters, use a three milliliter syringe, it is a 22 to 25 gauge, and you use a one to one and a half inch needle, and it's also a 90 degree angle. And then, okay, can I have you to stand up? So this is the ventrogluteal site. And so you would find the greater trochanter, which is, I'm feeling of it. Just right here. And then you would point your thumb to the pubis synthesis. You would point your first finger to the top of the iliac crest and then also the third finger. And you would go right in the middle of that triangle. And for the ventrogluteal site, the max it can take is three milliliters. You use a three milliliter syringe and a 20 to 25 gauge syringe, I mean needle. And you also, it's one to one and a half inches and it also goes in at 90 degrees. Okay.